Okay, this is just a quick little video showing you how to tune plats and rings. More specifically rings, that's the more complicated thing. Plats, I find that if this knob, uh, the frequency knob, is dead center, then it tends to be um, at C. But you can basically plug in a um, tuner to the output, and I just have a steady tone coming out of here. And um, yeah, you basically turn this frequency knob till it hits C, like that. And um, if, it's, if it's ever really out of whack, like you know, you're at C but it's like too low or something like that, the way to calibrate this is you hold this button for two seconds, and then you're going to see a light come up. If it's dead center, on the, you turn the harmonics knob to, to basically move this. And when it's dead center, which happens to be dead center there, it's um, at C. So I find that to be pretty consistent with both Platts modules. Now, rings is a little more difficult. Um, you may press some button combinations and get it out of whack. I ended up getting this thing somehow into like a mode where it was doing two and a half uh, steps per step. Um, so it was really just crazy sounding. Um, and I had watched a talk with Austin Cairns or R. Benny and Lightbath, and then um, he was talking about how he turns his knob all the way down, and then that's basically C. You just have to go up a couple octaves on the key step. Um, but that wasn't really working for me, that's how I discovered that I had a problem, so I went through the process of figuring out how to calibrate it. And the way you gotta do it is you basically unplug everything, and then you're gonna plug a reliable source to send a C2 or a 1 volt uh, to the voltage octave. I'm gonna use a key step in this instance, and then you're gonna plug into the frequency um, knob, and then you're gonna basically leave the other end open. Um, and then we're gonna press both of these buttons for a couple of seconds, it's going to blink, uh, the first one will blink orange, and then you're going to play a C2 note or a 1 volt, and then you're going to press this button again, and then it's going to, the second button will blink orange, and then you're going to play a C4 note or a 3 volt, and then you're going to press the button again, and it's going to either blink red rapidly, which means there was a failure, or it's going to go back to normal. You can tune it differently um, by pressing the wrong button combinations. Uh, or sorry, the wrong um, keys. So on the key step, it, the question is, well, where's C2 or one volt, and where's C4 or one volt? So I'm gonna show you right now how to discover that. So let's look at this other camera view. Okay, so here we are. I'm using a voltmeter, and I'm using a little um, vise to hold up the uh, CV output from the key step. I have the key step plugged in, and here I am in the middle of the octave range, um, and if you can use your chopstick skills, your sushi skills, and hold this on there and then hit a note, I can see, we can see that that's four volts and that's not what we want. Remember, we want one volt and three volts. So if I go down one and hitting this same C, I'm outputting a three volt. So that one octave down and then this C right here, the first C is gonna be your three volt or your C4. And if we go down one, two more, so three total down from center, and this same note is one volt. Okay? So that's how we're going to test where our C2 uh, and C4 are, and the correct voltage is going out. Because like I said, if you press the wrong one going into rings, it's going to screw it up. So let's go back to rings and let's tune it. Okay, we're back. I got my keyboard, and I'm going out of the CV uh, or pitch out of the back of the key step into the voltive, <laughs> voltive, voltage octave input. Um, and then I'm going to plug into the frequency area with a in, um, non-plugged in source. I'm just going to like kind of balance it here so it doesn't like lay against metal and maybe pick up a signal. Um, anyway, like that. All right, and then if we remember correctly, we're going to have to hit C2 and C4. So... C2 is three down on the keyboard, and I'm gonna get ready to press that. Now remember, I'm gonna press these for a couple of seconds, both of these buttons, and the first one blinks um, orange. I'm gonna hit my note, C2, or one volt. I'm gonna hit this one, and then I'm gonna go up two octaves to where C4 is, and I'm gonna hit that note, or three volts, and I'm gonna hit the type button again, and it goes back to normal. Now, if I take and just plug it into my mixer so we can check it, 
I can hit um, C and we're at C when this is all the way down here. It's going to be pretty low in the middle, um, so you can just, um, like, you know, like uh, R. Binney does, just go up in octaves and play in the upper ranges, and it should be enough for you. Or you could even um, find a spot. These, these nano rings are really nice, the micro rings, but they're really small, so they can be difficult to get. So you can just use your tuner. I basically searched around on here until I found C. Um, and like there's E, there's B, um, D. So I just got to go a little bit down. These are real touchy. D, just a little bit more. C sharp, yeah. C, there you go. So what I can do is um, I can take and I can just mark this little guy with a little piece of tape. Oops, sorry for bumping the camera. Like that. And that tells me that I'm in C. And in this particular case, I'm one down on the octave board. And so if I ever want to do a different C and not have to be so high up on the octave range, then this is a way you can do it. You can mark where C is because there's multiple octave ranges on these. Same thing with plats. You could do the same thing. You could mark, you know, other areas for C if you wanted to. Um, yeah. Um, yeah, like I said, um, this is a little more difficult to tune. It's easy to get uh, out of whack if you kind of pressing buttons too fast and maybe you get to that blinking mode and you don't know what you did. Um, it can get all whacked out, uh, and it was for me, and it, whoops, bumping the camera again, and it made me really frustrated and couldn't figure out why, so um, I uh, watched that video with uh, Light Bath and R. Binney, and they just happened to talk about it, and um, that got me on the road of like getting this thing calibrated correctly, and since there wasn't a lot of information, if not any, online, other than the manual telling you how to do it, but no one telling me where the octave ranges you know, for C2 and C4 were, so... I figured I'd share this video. If you liked it, uh, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe. Um, if you have other tips and tricks, please share them in the comments section below. That's what the community is all about, just helping each other out, finding information on YouTube. And uh, I'll see you guys next time. Have a really good day. Bye.